channel. Today's video, I'm so excited. You guys have been requesting this like crazy. And if you saw the title already, you would know that I'm gonna be showing you my closet essentials. These are all pieces that I literally can't live without. All of these pieces are really basic, so it's really great to build your wardrobe and to make some really great outfits. So if you guys wanna see everything, then let's jump right into it. So I know you guys are probably rolling your eyes because every single Closet Essential video includes a black and white t-shirt. I personally like crop t-shirts. This one is from Urban Outfitters and this one is from Topshop. This one comes in so many different colors. I have it in gray, white, a cream color, and Urban Outfitters also has like different style t-shirts. So if you're not into like a crop t-shirt, these are a little bit more pricier than your regular t-shirt from H&M and Forever 21, but they last you so much longer. I definitely think that you guys should have a black and white t-shirt because it goes with so many different looks. So my next essential are graphic t-shirts and this one is actually from Brandy Melville and this one is thrifted at the thrift store for like three dollars even with like a pair of jeans I feel like a graphic t-shirt just adds something to your outfit and just makes it look a little bit cooler you can get so many graphic t-shirts at so many different places like Urban Outfitters, PacSun, Brandy Melville and if you don't have the budget for those definitely check out the thrift store because you can definitely find some really cool t-shirts there the next essential is a good bra and I feel like a lot of people forget about this when you're wearing like a good fitted bra and it doesn't have like a bunch of wires sticking out and it just feels like really good on your body it can honestly make your outfit look a little bit better these bras are actually from the brand true and co and i'm so excited to be partnering with them on this video basically true and co is a community of women building a better bra they've done so much research to figure out how to make a bra feel really really comfortable but look great under clothes too i'm actually wearing one of their bras right now and you can't even tell because there's no wires in any of their bras they're so comfortable this is honestly the most comfortable bra I've ever worn it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing anything right now all of these bras that I have right now are from their feel naked but better collection and the quality feels amazing it's so soft and it feels way better than like half of my expensive bras that I spent so much money on if you guys want to go check out true and co I'll leave a link down below and you can also use this code to get 15% off your order I definitely would recommend checking them out though because it is one of the best bras that I've ever worn. So the next essentials are jackets and as you guys can see I have an obsession with jackets. Even in the summertime though I feel like it does get a little bit chilly outside so I like to have a few jackets just to throw on with my outfit. The first thing I'm gonna go quickly is a denim jacket. This is obvious. This one is from Target. I was obsessed with the blue color of it. It matches with so many different looks. My go-to way to wear a denim jacket is over like a dress or you can put it over an all black outfit. So if you're not into like a bigger denim jacket I also would recommend getting some cropped denim jackets because these are not too heavy and they won't be too hot and they go with literally anything this one is from Zara and I was in love with it because it has like this like ruching in the back so it's a little bit more fitted and this one is from Topshop and this is the perfect color denim that both of these are like my go-to jackets I wear them way too much and then I know a lot of people show this too a leather jacket is such a go-to especially if you're wearing like an all-black look at night and you throw this on you're gonna look so good. This one was from Zara, so it was pretty affordable, but the only thing that I don't like about it is that it has silver details on it. If you guys watch my channel, I only wear gold jewelry, so that's the only thing that I'm like iffy about. And the last two jackets are more like casual jackets. So this one is a bomber jacket from Zara. I was obsessed with like the olive green color because it's a little bit muted and it doesn't like clash with too many colors. And then this is like a vintage jacket. I feel like you should have like at least one or two vintage jackets in your wardrobe. You can literally throw it over a pair of denim shorts and a white t-shirt and it just makes it look really cool. The next essential are pants. I have this denim pair of jeans from Wrangler. These jeans from Forever 21 which are actually pretty good quality surprisingly then I have these leather pants from Zara and these black jeans from PacSun so personally I feel like high-waisted looks really good on my body type definitely try to figure out what looks best on your body and try to get them in all different colors and the same goes with shorts I have a black pair and a plain denim pair that I just got from Urban Outfitters these are actually Levi's they are such good quality I spent a lot of money on them but 
they were worth it. They feel so much better than just getting them from Forever 21. So these are actually from Princess Polly and they have a lot of distressing on them and they fit really well. I've had them for like almost two years now. All of their jeans and their shorts and everything fit really well, but they also last. So I definitely recommend checking them out too, but Urban Outfitters, is like a go-to place to find really great denim. One of my essentials in the summertime for sure is two-piece sets because they're so easy to put on. All you have to do is add accessories and shoes and you're good to go. I got this one from Forever 21 recently and this one from Topshop and they're both so pretty. I love the floral prints on them. So the one thing I really like about two-piece sets is that you can either dress them up or down so you can wear heels with them or sneakers for like a daytime look. But they're just so easy to put on in the summertime because you don't even have to think about it it's pretty much already done for you next up are bodysuits and camis and I have this black one from River Island this white one that's a little bit lacy from this boutique in LA and this one is a cami from Zara that I actually got at the thrift store these are great to wear on their own with a pair of jeans put some heels on and you have a nighttime look they're also really great to layer underneath jackets obviously dresses in the summertime are a go-to and I wanted to show you guys three of my favorite dresses at the moment so the number Number one thing is obviously a little black dress. I feel like everybody should own this any time of the year because you can dress this up with heels and a nice bag or you can dress them down with like a pair of sneakers and even like a denim jacket on top of it. This one is a little bit more girly. This is from Princess Polly but it kind of reminds me of like a Reformation dress in a way and it was way cheaper than Reformation. This would be like a great daytime look if you have an event to go to with a pair of nude heels. This last one is also from Princess Polly and they seriously have the best dresses they fit so well on your body and they just make everything look so good this one is a little bit different because it's more fitted and it also has a little bit of a different sleeve you don't have to go out and buy like so many dresses just have a couple options for different events that you have to go to crop tops in the summertime are such a go-to I wear them almost every single day with a pair of jeans or shorts but I wanted to show you two different options because I feel like both of these are really important to have in your wardrobe I have these two Two basic ones in black and white from her collection that I just got recently and they're a little bit different than just your regular crop top because they have these buttons going up the top of it but I definitely think investing in some really basic ones like these are important because you can match them with so many different outfits also I wanted to show you these these are a little bit prettier looking and a little bit more detailed to them so this one is from Princess Polly and this one is from River Island these two are a little bit different than just your regular crop top they look like you tried so much harder if you're wearing it with just a plain pair of jeans my next essentials are shoes and I have three different categories so I have boots sneakers and heels and I'm gonna quickly show you guys like a montage of them these are like my seven go-to shoes I feel like these are the ones that I wear almost every single day so I could like go through all of them and explain each outfit but I feel like it's easier just to show you guys all of my shoes and obviously you don't have to get all of these shoes but I feel like having one shoe from each category just really helps to build your wardrobe. Whew. I feel like I've been talking forever, so sorry if I sound really tired right now. It's currently like 12 o'clock at night. The last essential is accessories. A lot of you guys have been asking about this on my Instagram, where my jewelry is from, because I wear pretty much the same exact jewelry every single day. These earrings are from Urban Outfitters. They're like my go-to hoops. Even if I'm wearing like a nighttime look or a daytime look, I just throw on hoops. It just makes the outfit look a little bit better. Just got these rings from Forever 21. They're really affordable, but you have to be careful though because since they're from Forever 21, you have to take them off every time you wash your hands or else they're going to be all like rusted and disgusting looking. These necklaces are from Forever 21 too. I feel like these are my go-to necklaces, but I feel like adding little accessories like this, like little hoops and a necklace and some rings really dresses up your outfit and just really elevates it. And I wanted to show you guys my two favorite bags at the moment. This one is from H&M and I get all of my bags pretty much from H&M. Not only are they affordable, but they also are kind of like good quality. I've had the same black bag. I think I told you guys this too before 
but I've had the same black bag since I was in college. So it lasted me forever. I feel like this is just like a go-to little bag. It fits everything that I need in here and I love the gold chain to it. Since I wear gold jewelry, it just matches my whole look. And if you don't feel like wearing a purse, I definitely recommend getting like a little bag like this. This is pretty tiny, but it can fit like a wallet in here. That was it for my closet essentials video. I hope this was helpful. I'm not telling you guys to go out and buy all of these things because that would be so crazy. Take a look into your wardrobe and see if you could pick up any of these pieces. And make sure to go check out True & Co. It will be linked down below. I definitely recommend their bras. They're amazing. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!